For the bicycle industry, it was a year of unprecedented challenges, a year that revealed its darkest secrets. Welcome back to our series on the fall of the bicycle industry. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any updates. In this video, we will delve into the initial impact of the pandemic on supply chains, the rise of new competition, and the fallout and future of the industry. The world as we knew it changed overnight and so did the bicycle industry. So buckle up, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Picture this, it's the winter of 2020. Stores are sold out of product following a midsummer rush due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In the early days of the pandemic, our world was turned upside down. As the virus spread, so did fear and uncertainty. This led to a surge in shopping, with people stocking up on everything from toilet paper to bicycles. Parks reopened, but with restrictions. Bike shops, like other retailers, had to adapt to a new normal, limiting the number of customers in store, enforcing mask wearing, and diligently sanitizing surfaces. Meanwhile, the supply chains that keep our economy running were under unprecedented stress. The sudden spike in demand for certain products, coupled with the disruption of global logistics, led to widespread shortages. Retailers were left waiting on back orders, some placed over a year earlier. As spring blossomed in 2020, orders started to trickle in from a few brands. But it quickly became clear that smaller retailers were at the back of the queue when it came to fulfillment. The arrival of product was a double-edged sword. Yes, it meant that shops could finally meet some of the pent-up demand, but it also revealed a harsh reality. The rush of the previous summer and fall had all but evaporated. Consumers, once desperate for bikes to enjoy the outdoors while maintaining social distance, had moved on. To make matters worse, these small retailers found themselves facing new competition. Some brands, in their scramble to meet the soaring demand, had opened new dealerships in close proximity. The loyalty that small shops had shown to these brands seemed to count for little. Now, with larger orders than ever sitting on their floors, these retailers were left to battle it out with new rivals. As the summer heat faded, so did the demand, leaving small businesses grappling with a new reality. The initial impact of the pandemic on supply chains had been harsh, and the aftershocks would continue to be felt for years to come. Navigating the murky waters of order fulfillment during the pandemic pandemic was like trying to paddle upstream without a paddle. While the virus continued to wreak havoc, the large outlets and online retailers were being favored for order fulfillment. Small local bike shops, despite being ahead in placing their orders, were left high and dry. The big brands shrouded this preferential treatment in secrecy. By the time the small shops finally got their hands on their orders, the demand had already been satiated by the larger vendors. This resulted in a surplus of 2021 products, collecting dust on the shelves. The biggest brands were the main perpetrators, conveniently blaming shipping delays for the tardiness in order fulfillment. This lack of transparency left the shops a state of confusion, assuming that everyone was in the same boat, thus rendering decision-making nearly impossible. As the pandemic progressed, back orders were postponed by over two years. Armed with this misleading information, shops were left floundering in their attempts to manage inventory control or sales projections. Small shops were excluded from the bike boom, while the big brands started selling directly to consumers or secretly at cheaper prices. This gave the online vendors an edge, allowing them to offer discounts that were impossible for small shops to match. The bike boom ended early in spring 2021, leaving many items from those orders still sitting on shelves today. As the dust settled, the fallout became startlingly clear. Small shops, the backbone of our communities, had sounded the alarm to brands about the looming fallout from their actions, but their warnings fell on deaf ears. These small businesses had been loyal to the brands, sticking with them through the initial stages of the pandemic. But their loyalty was not reciprocated. Instead, they were left in the dark, grappling with the uncertainty of when, or even if, their orders would be fulfilled. They were forced into the precarious position of predicting orders two years out, with no guidance or support from the brands. It's a harsh reality, but the biggest brands were the worst offenders. They continued to bypass small shops, fulfilling orders for larger stores that had placed their orders much later. These brands painted a picture of shipping delays and logistical hiccups as the culprits, 
but that was far from the truth. The real issue was a blatant disregard for the small businesses that had supported them. When confronted about their actions, these brands continued to weave a web of untruths. They chose to ignore the fact that their actions were pushing small shops into the shadows, further burying them under the weight of the pandemic's impact. The fallout was felt keenly by these small businesses. They watched as brands opened new dealerships nearby, fostering new competition and disregarding the loyalty that had been shown to them. The brand's focus shifted to meeting consumer demand, leaving small shops to fend for themselves. And the future? It looks bleak for many of these small businesses. Brands selling products out the back door was the final nail in the coffin for many small businesses. It was a betrayal that has left a bitter taste, serving as a stark reminder of the importance of supporting local mom and pop shops, rather than corporate stores or online vendors. Between the fallout and the future, there's a glimmer of hope, the power of community support. Small businesses, especially bicycle shops, have always been more than just places to buy things. They are community hubs where locals gather, where relationships are formed, and where the heart of the cycling community beats. In these trying times, it's crucial to remember the importance of supporting these local businesses. Not only does it keep the local economy alive, but it also fosters a sense of community and connection that is vital in these uncertain times. There are stories of communities rallying around their local shops, of customers showing up not just to buy, but to offer their support, to lend a hand, to show that they care. And in these stories, we see the power of community support. It's not just about money. It's about people coming together to help each other, to show solidarity, to stand up against the unfair practices of big brands. These acts of support can make a world of difference to these struggling businesses. They can help them weather the storm, keep their doors open, and continue to serve their communities. So let's harness the power of community support. Let's stand with our local bike shops and show them that we value their presence in our communities. Because in the face of adversity, it's community that keeps us strong. But it's not all doom and gloom. There's a way to turn the tide. Imagine a world where every purchase you make contributes to the growth of your local community. That's the power of supporting your local mum and pop shops. When you visit these small businesses, you're not just buying a product or a service. You're investing in your community. You're helping a local entrepreneur fulfill their dreams and you're ensuring that the money you spend stays in your community. And it's not just about economic growth. By choosing to shop locally, you're fostering a sense of community and connection. You're creating a unique and vibrant local culture that can't be replicated by any corporate store or online vendor. So the next time you need to buy something, think about your local mum and pop shops. Give them a chance to serve you. Remember, your choice can make a difference. Support your local businesses, and help them thrive in these challenging times.